morning. How you guys doing? Uh, today is Thursday, April 15th. This week has, for me at least, has flown by. I can't believe it's already Thursday. But here are your top headlines from yesterday to know going to your work day today. Our first story, Roberto Benini is set to receive the Lifetime Achievement Award at the Venice Film Festival. He is obviously one of Italy's most uh, famous film figures. He won the Oscar for Best uh, Best Foreign Language Film and Best Actor at, in 1999 for his movie La Vita e Belle. Uh, other credits include Life is Beautiful, Down by Law, and Pinocchio, you know, the most recent one. Uh, obviously, Roberto is well deserving of this, of this award, especially for an Italian film festival. So congrats to him. And, you know, the film festival is obviously on track to happen this year. I'm always hesitant when people try to adapt projects about very famous Hollywood figures because it almost never truly stands up. But it has been announced that they are going to be doing it and Audrey Hepburn TV adaptation written by Jacqueline Hoyt. Uh, she writes for The Good Wife currently, and it is it is being produced by Wildside, which is a part of Fremantle, and they did do The Young Pope and My Brilliant Friend which the young Pope was done very well. So it kind of gives us a little bit more credence to this adaptation. Uh, it is based on a treatment treatment and the book by Audrey Hepburn's son, Luca Doty and Italian journalist, Luigi Spinola. So I'm hoping this is good. Audrey Hepburn is probably one of my top uh, Hollywood royalty actors. Her and Grace Kelly to me are some of the best out there. So to do a, justice to Audrey Hepburn correctly is a very fine line to walk. So hopefully this is good. We'll see when it comes out, but you know, cool announcement. We'll see what happens. A couple of announcements of actors not returning to their projects. The first one is Karen Oliva, who, who has come out and said she is not returning to the Broadway production of Moulin Rouge once it reopens. And I think she is doing this for a very smart reason. She is doing this because she is taking a stand against Hollywood's silence and semi-acceptance of Scott Rudin. Scott Rudin, uh, the Hollywood Reporter, did a big report about this, but he has been accused of workplace harassment and abuse claims. This is a great stand by Karen. Scott Rudin is not a producer on Moulin Rouge, so it is interesting that she specifically is taking a stand, but someone needs to it this is a one of those hollywood secrets that everyone knows a little bit some familiar to like harvey weinstein but not in the sexual abuse but more in the workplace abuse scott rudin is known to be uh, a very aggressive boss essentially if you survive on his desk for three months it's almost a badge of honor in new york and then you can move on to get a better job this has been known for years Scott Rudin and this old Hollywood mentality of being okay with big successful producers like this and not knocking them down or stop working with them is a flaw in our industry. This is not a good thing. Why has he got called out? He's now arrested and all of a sudden everyone goes, oh my God, you know, we can't believe it, but we've known the whole time. Scott Rudin is a very similar comparison and there are other producers and executives out there like this. And yet Hollywood still goes, you know, we're still making great projects that are so successful. They've been around for years. It's time for people to start to move on from people like this and start making still successful and profitable projects without a terrible human being. So great stand by Karen. Obviously a loss for Moulin Rouge. Uh, Newpam Kerr is officially leaving the show New Amsterdam. He pre previously announced that his wife is unfortunately diagnosed with a type of blood cancer. So he is retiring from the show to be with his wife and family while they undergo the situation. So hope everything goes okay, but smart and intelligent move by Anupam to you know be with family at a time like this. All right, we have a lot of attachment news, so let's get into it. First one up is Peter Atencio. He has been tapped by Legendary Entertainment to come on board and direct uh, The Machine. This already has Burt Kreischer and Mark Hamill set to star. This is uh, a about Burt's viral comedy set, about how he and his father uh, 
got kidnapped by people that Bert wronged 20 years ago when he was doing a college study abroad in Russia. So I've read the script. It's very funny. Bert has a very fun, specific tone to his comedy, but it's going to feel uh, like, a, I would say, hangover with an action adventure tone to it. Peter Tensio obviously is known for directing all 55 episodes of Key and Peel, So you know him and Bert are just going to make this really funny, really over the top, but also very smart. So very cool announcement. Renee Zellweger will be taking the lead in the golf comedy feature, The Back Nine. This is going to be directed by Michael Patrick King uh, for Landline Pictures. This is very quickly about a uh, female golfer who decided to put her clubs away and help support her husband, who's also a golfer. But when their marriage starts to go south, she decides to come out of retirement and prove that she still has it. So, sounds fun. Jacob Tremblay has been tapped to star alongside Peter Dinklage in the remake of The Toxic Avenger. Uh, I'm assuming he's playing the son role to Peter Dinklage's uh, character. The original story is about a man who fell into a toxic vat, comes out looking like this crazy mutant monster, and of course becomes an outcast. But when uh, his son and the town need saving, he comes and does what he needs to do and be that proper underdog. The Toxic Avenger, Avenger has, uh, it came out in 1984, but it has, I think, three movies about it. So we'll see if this becomes a new franchise for Legendary. But Tremblay is a good actor. Dinklage is a good actor. You know, we'll see what comes of it. And Pilots, Christina Jackson has been brought on to play the female lead opposite Yolan Knoll in The Spook Who Sat By The Door. Uh, this is based on Sam Greenlee's spy novel, uh, Christina is going to be playing the role of Joy Freeman, who is an up-and-coming attorney and also the wife to Yolan's character, Dan. Uh, and Dan is the first black hire in the CIA. So I think this is actually going to be a very fantastic pilot. I'm curious to see how it comes out. But Christina and Yolan as the leads, very promising at the very least right now. All right, everyone, that's really it. I'm supposed to lose, supposedly losing my power today at 8.30, so I had to make this a little bit quick. But please like and subscribe. Hopefully it's enough news for you to get going on your workday, and I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning. Have a great day.